Smith. That's cool. Let's press onwards here. So we got a lot of stuff. All right. How much does one need to change a drawing from the internet for a public project so that is within copyright rules? Asks Wall Gifford. And Wall's here all the way from Hong Kong today. The simple answer to that wall is you can't do that without permission. You can't change a drawing. You can't change a piece of content that you find on the internet without permission. That's called a derivative work. And I, I guess technically you could mangle it beyond all recognition. You know, it, it, technically speaking, I guess, and this is not legal advice by any stretch of the imagination, if it was completely unrecognizable from the original, then I guess you could have at it, but my question at that stage would be, what's the point? Um, you just can't do that. Now, what you could do is you could find a piece of content, an image on the Internet that has a Creative Commons license to it that allows for derivative work, and you probably would have to give attribution for that but that would be a case where you wouldn't be violating any copyright rules. And the reason for that is because when someone enters a piece of content into Creative Commons, they specify what rights you have. And they can designate the right to create a derivative work or to modify the work. And that would be your, your way to go there or find one that's in the public domain. Sure, says Susan. So basically, it, it again boils down to rights. If it's in the public domain, then you have the rights to do pretty much whatever you want to with it, for the most part. <laughs> and if it has a Creative Commons license that lets you do such a thing, then you can do what's called a derivative work. In fact, I think that's in my, I've been messing around with some stuff. Uh, let's go to, this is called Wikimedia Commons, and this is called Media of the Day. I'll put this link in the chat box. So here is kind of where I visit once in a while, uh, kind of on a regular basis, actually. You can find stuff that has Creative Commons licenses. So the other day I wandered over here and I, you know, was looking through stuff and you can get footage and this is just kind of a really spooky, goofy video here. Sometimes they have music. Here's a, a Gregorian chant. <laughs> uh, but I was playing around with this a little bit and let me see if it's still on here. I found this thing and this is called Llama Drama, right? And so I researched it a little bit, and I went and looked for it, and I found it. And it's uh, on this site here. It's by a guy. Oh, I forget what his name is. It's around here somewhere. But essentially, uh, it's like as part of an open source project. So it's a bunch of animators, essentially, just screwing around with stuff and putting their work out so that others can play with it, you know, and, and modify it. And it's just like a, a cool little video thing. Oh, Pablo Vasquez is the dude's name. Just really fun. It's got a, a great music score to it. And it's when it says drama here, it, it kind of is. It tells a story. And that's why I liked it. And it's just so well done that I thought, well, uh, if he's going to let me, yeah, I'll go ahead and download it. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it like in a YouTube end card, you know, just to keep somebody's attention a little while longer after I roll a YouTube video on my channel. Okay, so the Llama Drama is going to play in like a main window and then off to the right, of course, I'll have watch next video, click here to subscribe or whatever. But, you know, it's just a, a nice little engaging piece of content and heck there's two of them <laughs> and they're both just like adorable so that's uh, one case where you can find content like that to use